Okay, let's look now at the second question. The eutectic temperature is 183, and they're asking slightly above that temperature how many grams of liquid remains. So remember, we have 1,000 kilograms, which is a lot. Um, how many grams of liquid remains? What is the comp composition of the solid that is remaining? So they tell you the eutectic temperature, and this sort of relies on you knowing that... Um, being able to identify where the eutectic is on the phase diagram. So uh, the eutectic, I hope you know, but if you don't, the eutectic is the reaction where uh, you have uh, eutectic is liquid is upon cooling. This, this they're always written in for whatever reason on cooling the liquid converts to a solid one plus a solid two. And where you have this on this diagram, I'll, I'll show that to you here, is at this point where this, it's, this is very typical of the shape of it. You've got this valley leading down to the eutectic point. And this composition, when it hits that point, that, that temperature, not just a point, but that temperature and composition. So recall that you have composition on this axis, you have temperature on this axis. So to stipulate an x, uh, x, y position, that will give you, those are the coordinates of a point. So the x is the mass that is uh, 30, we're going to call that 38 weight percent lead. That's the x value. The y value is, they're telling us, 183 degrees Celsius. So under, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> so um, this point is at uh, 38 weight percent, 38 weight percent tin, uh, 183 degrees Celsius, and they're asking about the case where you have this. Uh, temperature just above that that set of conditions so essentially we're right above this line we i'm drawing a thick line so this really you can interpret this line as being essentially this you know the same as that eutectic line there so it looks like it is something like 81 82 percent lead and this composition here is the eutectic composition for the liquid. Uh, the question was, at how many grams of liquid remains? What is the chemical composition of the solid that is remaining? Well, we know the chemical composition of the solid rema re remains is given by the endpoint of this tie line. So the chemical composition of the solid that remains is 82% lead. So we can answer that one right away, 82 weight percent lead. And um, then we draw the tie line to figure out how much liquid, and we can see that our overall composition is 40 weight percent. So the tie line looks like this, one point there, another point here, and extends from here to here so the fraction of liquid is equal to that 82 minus 40. I'm taking uh, this point, I'm subtracting this point, oops. I'm taking this point, I'm subtracting this point because we're computing the fraction of liquid and I'm dividing that by uh, the bottom of the fulcrum which is this point minus this point, 82 minus 38. So that is 42 divided by 44 or approximately, whoops, approximately, uh, that's like 90, I'm going to call that 90, see 2 is 5%, yeah, 95% approximately 95% liquid. Oh, I didn't multiply that by 100. You know, the fraction would be 0 0.95. So um, the amount, though, we have 1,000 kilograms. 
So times 1,000 kilograms, and that gives me, what is that? One, two, three, nine, five, zero kilograms of liquid. 